In previous video, I demonstrate how you can connect your generic controller to your PC as an Xbox 360 controller. In this video, I add more functionalities to it. The idea behind that is actually very simple. When I am not playing any games, my controller just sits on my desk and it's completely useless. So I decided to write a program that can utilize the gamepad. Then I can use its button for various purposes. So let's get started. As you can see, this is the Python code that I use. It is very bare bones and it is all about executing minimal tasks. But that said, it can obviously be programmed to do much more intricate and complicated stuff. Now let's jump right in. We obviously need to import some modules. First, we have get gamepad submodule from the inputs module. By using that, we can interact with our gamepad. Then we got subprocess and py input modules. We use subprocess to execute an external program and py input to emulate keyboard keys. After that, we got pycal module, and that is the module that we use to change system sound volume. This import structure was provided under the usage section of its GitHub readme, so you can grab it from there as well. At that point, we can look up to our main code structure. To begin with, we got a main loop and inside that we iterate over the gamepad events. With this simple print statement, we can see a gamepad event whenever it's triggered. The gamepad event has three main attributes, and those are event type, event code, and event status. For our use case, we will be mainly using event code and event status. Event code determines which key is pressed and event status reports its state value. So if I press a key for example, it shows that it is registered under the BTN south name and its value is 1. When I release it, the value returns to 0. Same mechanism also applies to the joysticks as well. The only difference is that the values range between plus and minus 30,767, which we will be dealing with later on. Now we can look up on our first use case, which is basic volume mute toggle switch. To map a mute action, we first need to determine an action on our controller. For example, left joystick pushdown can be a good option. Then we pick its event code, which is btn, thumb, l, and event status, which is 1 for trigger. After that, we put it into an if statement and just add the basic volume mute functionality. As you can see, when I run the code and push the left joystick, it mutes and unmutes the volume. It is pretty cool, but now let's try to change the volume using our joystick. If you have remembered, I previously mentioned that our joystick ranges between these values. So, we need to map it between minus 0 and minus 60 since those are the acceptable volume ranges in PyCal. To obtain this scaling, we can use this line, which is pretty self-explanatory linear scaling. Then we basically set the master volume to the value that we have obtained. Now, once we try that, as you can see, it is working ok. It does have a very high sensitivity and when I release it, it jumps back to volume level 12. But those problems can be easily resolved. And since it's a demonstration, I am not worried about them too much. Also, as an alternative, we got our next example, which is pretty much the same thing, but volume is controlled by pressing the up and down arrows on our D-pad. Each press changes volume by 10% relative to its current value. Anyway, now let's look at something more useful and interesting. Discord mute mic trigger. To do that, we first need to set up a Discord mute shortcut, which in my case control and accent gray. Then, on our code, we use keyboard emulation to send the shortcut. And doing that is super easy, we just use press method and first press on control key, then press the accent grave. Then we release the both. Now whenever I press the B button, it mutes and unmutes the Discord, which is pretty cool. And finally we come to the part where we can use our gamepad to run basically anything that we want. For example, I want to open up PowerShell by pressing the A button. As you can see, we can easily do that by using the subprocess module. We use popen function to call the PowerShell and we create new console arguments as the creation flag so that we open up a separate window. You can also use call function on subprocess to do a similar thing. Now let's look at how that works. As you can see, when I press A in my gamepad, it opens up a PowerShell window, which is super nice. In the end, you can obviously use your keyboard to do these tasks. However, having more options is always a nice thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time. Take care.